Lee Sorensen. I'm here with Milwaukee Valve. I'm here to show you the process of doing press ball valves. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your pipe to length. That would de be determined by where you're installing it. Most important feature after you cut your pipe though is deburring the sharp edge. There's multiple ways to do this. Your cutting tool would have the deburrer on it and all you're doing is taking off the, all the sharp edges. The other scenario, you could actually purchase a deburrer. If you do not have a cutting tool, a piece of emery cloth would work just as well. Next important process would be to get the depth length of your valve. Take your valve and actually measure the full depth to the stop. In this case, it's 7 eighths inches. Take your tape measure then, and then measure 7 eighths inches on your pipe. Take a black marker and mark 7 eighths inches on your pipe. Once you have your mark, simply take your valve and start inserting it. You will notice a little resistance when you reach the O-ring part. You are not fully inserted until your line is fully inserted and until you hear an actual clicking sound when you hit the stop. You now have the pipe fully inserted correctly. You may now actually do the crimping. You can use any crimping tool on the market. There is no specific brand or anything like that that needs to be used. They all work the same. You would simply take your crimping tool, insert your valve into the crimping tool correctly, and start the crimping process. During the process, if your pipe would happen to inch out and you would notice by your line, you can stop the crimper as you see and insert the valve back and restart the crimping process. Run the crimper until it actually disengages on its own. Your valve has now fully been crimped and the process is complete. You may remove the crimper and you will notice it is 100% sealed. I'm Lee Sorensen from Milwaukee Valve, and that is how you do press ball valves correctly.